Hey guys, so I'm digging right in. I'm starting off with my eyeshadow base. And this was um, a product I mentioned in one of my past videos. I'm just gonna use this as my transition color. Um, please don't mind all the white ashiness on my face. I already put my primer on as well as my um, eyebrows and my concealer and all that fun stuff. So my face looks a bit of a mess right now. So please pretend you don't see that. So I'm just going to work this in using windshield wiper motion, just kind of going back and forth, back and forth. But I want to focus the majority of the color toward the outer corner, but still you want to blend it all together. So just keep going back and forth. Then I'm going in with my new favorite palette, the Carly, Carly by Belle. And I'm using this pretty purplish color. It's almost like a muted eggplant. And I'm gonna just focus that color in the outer corner because we're gonna kind of use this to smoke it out a little bit. We don't want this to be a drastic smoky eye using like lots of dark browns and blacks, but we still want a little bit of definition. So you just focus that in the outer corner, slightly bring it toward the inner corner, but the majority of it should be in the outer corner. So just keep blending, and then as you blend out, you kinda wanna um, blend more toward the tip of your eyebrow because you kind of want to make like a V shape If you understand if you don't understand let me know and I'll make a um, in-depth video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about So now I'm going in with my Morphe 350 palette and I'm going in with this gorgeous brown It's like a chocolate brown and I'm just using that to smoke out the outer corner just a little bit more Then I'm going back in with that purplish color and then I'm just gonna kind of blend the two together. So just blending, just so you can't see where the colors separate, because that's when it kind of looks messy. So I'm just blending these two together. Then I'm going back with the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going for this light glittery color. It's like a champagne type color. And I'm just gonna press that in all over the lid. It looks like I'm swiping because the video's kind of sped up, but I'm actually just pressing that in. Some colors you want to press in, some colors you want to tap, some you want to spread back and forth. That color definitely you want to tap on. Um, then I get my same brush and then I blend it out, making it um, kind of blend evenly with the other colors I put on. So I'm going back with the same palette and I'm using like this banana type of color and I'm just going to kind of highlight under my brow a little bit. So get as close to your brow line as possible and then kind of blend it out. And make sure you use a clean brush. I always do this with a long brush and it turns out horrible. But this time I actually cleaned my brushes right before this video. So back with the same palette, I'm going with another light color. This one's a little bit lighter than that champagne color on the eyelid but um, it's kind of like a frosty color. So I'm using this um, just under my eye a little bit, trying to give it, I guess, like a little bit of a pop. So now I'm going in with my In My X liquid liner, and this is like a, a brownish, goldish color, like I guess copper. I don't know, it's really pretty in person. The video kind of doesn't do it justice, but I love this color, it's so, so pretty. So I'm just gonna go in and do a really quick, simple little wing liner. So I just draw the line first, and then at the corner of my eye, I draw up and then just connect the dots. And sorry, my camera lost focus. So now I'm going in with the concealer palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going in for that orange color. I'm just going to hide my dark circles. So I just use my hands, put a little bit under my eye, a little bit above my lip, and then on a few um, little acne spots if I have any. So just blend that in really quickly with your hands. Then I'm going in with my new favorite foundation. This is from Maybelline, my favorite company of all time. And I am going to just dab a little all over my head as you can see. I guess I should say my face, not my head. So just blend that in really, really good. Make sure you get it everywhere. This color is perfect for me. I believe this color is coconut. It matches, the foundation is amazing. It's full coverage, but it's not super thick like the stuff I usually use, but it still gives me that full coverage look. But I like that I can wear this like 
I guess her everyday look as well and be just fine. So anyways, I'm gonna blend that in, then let it set. Then I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn, of course. And we're just gonna do a little bit of highlighting. So put it on my cheeks, a little on my nose, on my forehead, below, above my jawline, and then Cupid's bow, and then my chin. And then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and just blend, blend, blend. So just press it in, don't swipe, just press, press, press. So you're kind of like dabbing it in. Just do that all over, and you kind of have to do it a hundred times, but I promise you it's worth it to not just swipe it because it looks very streaky when you do that. So just, um, you know the deal. Just blend, 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 push it, push it, push it into the skin. So I'm just continuing to blend. I thought I cut this part off, but I did it. But yeah, so just blend it in. And then blend it as good as you can so it looks super natural. It's nothing worse than like having orange specks or yellow specks on your face. So blending the forehead. I always wait to do my nose last. So blend that in. I do my nose last just because I guess I want all the product. I feel like that's where I really want to be highlighted and it disappears first. So now I'm going in with the color mahogany and I'm just putting that right on my natural, I guess under my cheekbone where you naturally contour and then a little bit on the side of my nose as well. But put it up closer toward your, um, I guess, brow bone and then put it on your nose as well if you want to kind of, I guess, thin out your nose. And then the same thing, you kind of like dab it. Um, what I do, I dab just a little and then I let the rest of the color kind of come down. I don't want like a long line, just toward like closest toward the top of my cheekbone. I like the line. And then I use the excess remaining on the brush, on the powder sponge, I'm sorry, on my jawline. And then I just go in with a contour brush and then I just do my nose. Whenever I would do my nose with the actual blender, it would always mess up my contour, my highlight color. So I didn't like doing that, so this brush works perfect for me. So you see, I think I might have messed up again. So then I just get that same brush. That's why I use two different brushes. I keep saying brush. That's why I use two different sponges because um, one has the light color, so if I mess up, I could just pick it right back up. So now I'm blending the Sasha and my Ben Nye Camel Powder. I'm just blending them together. And then I'm just putting it exactly where I put my highlight. And then I'm putting this um, ebony bronze exactly where I put my contour, which is the side of my nose, and then my cheekbones. So I'm using um, a similar brush to the one I put on the liquid with, and I'm just going to kind of get in there. So now I just get my angled contour brush, and then just um, put a little color there just to bring some color back to my face because sometimes if you highlight too much you can look really really yellow and that's not fun. So I just do this to bring a little bit of color back to my face. I don't know why I do my forehead, it's never shown. I have bangs now, but anyways. So now after about, I think I let this sit about like seven minutes maybe, I just dust it off. This is just my blush brush. You can use any um, brush you want but I just used the first one I saw. Don't worry about the color in your eyebrows. That's why I did mine a little bit darker because I knew all that yellow was gonna fall into them anyway. So um, yeah. So now I'm just getting my L'Oreal, um, what is this, my carbon pencil. And I'm just putting a little bit of color on my waterline. Just a tiny bit toward the outer corner. I don't want that much in the inner corner, but I still want um, you can tell I have on a little bit. So now I'm going in with my favorite product of all time. Of course, it's Maybelline's Great Lash. So I'm just putting this on really quickly. Mascara can be boring, so that's why I edit it. So now I'm going in with my um, Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. And I'm using that darker color right on top of that ebony bronze I put on. And then I'm just putting it all over my forehead as well in my jawline. 
And then I'm going in with e.l.f., my new favorite blush palette. This is so amazing. I believe it was like $4. So then I'm going with that pretty like magenta-ish color. And I'm using a kabuki brush to put it on. I just like putting it on because the color um, payoff is awesome with that. But I use a different brush when I blend it in. And you'll see that in a second. So I'm just lightly putting it on the apples of my cheeks. If you can't find your apples, make like a big fake smile and I promise you, you will find them. So you see, I'm using a different brush to um, kind of blend it out a little bit better. So now I'm going with Iman, and this is Afterglow. I'm going in with that um, coppery color, and I'm just gonna use it as my highlight. I think halfway through doing my makeup, I decided I didn't wanna do um, as crazy makeup as I thought, as far as my face. So this is a very natural glow, I guess. So I'm putting a little bit at the tip of my nose. Um, I'm super oily, so I don't like to put it all over my nose. Just a tiny bit at the tip. Then I'm getting the Cupid's bow. I use my finger sometimes just because it helps give like that natural look. So I'm just blending that out really good. Then I'm going in with my cover effects, which I cannot show apparently. <laughs> and this is the matte powder in the color medium. And I'm just gonna lightly dust that all over my face. Um, lately, I've been doing my makeup a little bit heavier just because I use this dusting powder and it kind of mattes it. So this color is MAC. This color is chestnut. So I'm just lining my lips and then I just kind of blot it with my fingers. And then I'm going to go in with um, Sephora's Marvelous Mauve and Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. So right now, this is the Sephora color and it looks a mess, but once I blend them together, I promise it looks cool. So now this is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow color. These two colors put together are seriously my favorite look right now. I don't care who tells me I look fake, whatever. I don't care, it's my favorite color. So anyways, um, when I do matte lips, I don't like them. I don't like when it looks perfect, so I like to use my finger to kind of blot it out. So I hope you guys like the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends too. Thank you guys. I love you. Goodbye.